Moving to Saturday evening, 7.15 p.m. Central Time. Patriots at the Colts. Colts are a two-point favorite at home, total of 45 and a half. Uh, the Pats are 5-1 and one against the spread their last six against the Colts. Obviously, they don't play every year. But the Patriots, 7-0 and oh against the spread in their last seven games. They are rolling right now. That defense is ridiculous. They've got the biggest point differential in the NFL, and it's not even close. The Colts, 3-7 and seven against the spread in their last 10 home games. You look at the numbers on these two teams, and I don't get why the Patriots are an underdog here. It doesn't make sense to me. I, I look all this stuff up, and I'm like, okay, what am I missing? So it kind of scares me a little bit that the line would be there. Patriots number two in total DVOA. Indianapolis is number nine. The Indy offense is number seven in total DVOA. The New England defense is number two. The Indianapolis defense is number nine in DVOA, and the New England offense is number 10. I, I don't see any real, like New England's even got an advantage on special teams. Like, I think the wrong team is favored here. So I'm going to roll with the Patriots. Uh, but that's what scares me is that they should be favored. Yeah, it seems like a trap. When this line first came out, I thought, wow, that shocks me a lot. And I feel like I'm stepping on a trap. I'm just going to step on the trap. I don't. I, yeah. I kind of don't care. If there's a guy I'm willing to trust stepping on a trap with, it's Bill. Yes. And, and it would be different if the line was minus Pats, minus seven, and, you know, or, or you know, and, and, and maybe it should be minus three or something like that, or minus three when it should be minus seven. And so it's like, yeah, I'll lay those points, whatever. And they end up playing some weird, crazy close game that comes down to like an extra point or something weird. But when he's catching points, I understand it's just two. I trust him to win any game he's the coach of. Yes. Yes, that's where I'm at. It's, it's odd that they are an underdog in this role. I also trust his defense unless something weird is happening COVID wise with the Patriots that nobody knows about because Bill just keeps shit under wraps and Sunday we're going to fire Saturday. We're going to find out like eight guys are missing. I think Carson Wentz is going to throw the ball to Patriot jerseys at least twice, possibly three times. I could, I could see that. This is a guy that holds the ball for a long time. They pressure the quarterback really well. They make you pay for that. When he throws the ball, and he's being pressured, which I think he's going to have a lot happen to him. While, while this offensive line is really good, listen, those boys on the other side of the field are just beast. Matt Judon right now is an absolute freak. He tends to throw the ball to the other team. And he also tends to try to be Brett Favre and Judon, Patrick Mahomes. Judon got hurt the other day, didn't he? I, I don't uh, think he's out yeah, for but this I, game. He but came, I, think he, I think he came back in the game. I think he did. I, I think, think you're right. Out, out. And so, anyway, neither here nor there. I, I think the Patriots pending their team is not one of the teams that's ravaged by COVID, I, I, I think they win this game. I think you're right. I agree with you. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.